chance. However, the fast, fluent football that's the hallmark of this young side quickly emerges. Stevens heads to Slaven, the pass back inside, but Gary Hamilton might have done better with the shot. A minute later, and Stevens tries again. A scramble in the Swindon defence, and somehow the ball is cleared. But Borough are pressing hard now. It's Gary Pallister lining up a chance for Gill, but over the bar yet again. It's becoming frustrating for the crowd as well as for the Borough players. Even so, the open football is a delight to watch. Cooper forward to Hamilton, and Bernie Slaven perfectly anticipates Hamilton's pass. Slaven produces a fine cross for Stevens. A wonderful save and applause for the cross which produced the danger. The 36th minute now and the Swindon defence clears yet again. But Gary Gill is on hand, giving Brian Laws the shot. And what a beautiful goal. That should keep the fans happy, particularly as Swindon are creating few chances which make any impression. Into the second half and Borough are still trying. Stevens heads on and skipper Tony Mowbray is desperately unlucky not to end up on the score sheet. By this time, Swindon are looking a spent force. This attempt is one of their few second-half chances. But Burroughs forwards are also finding the going hard now. Ripley's skills, though, are always a pleasure to behold. Great persistence allows the pass to Laws. He beats two men, crosses, but things have gone right off the boil. Nevertheless, a 1-0 win for the Borough and that new record. And it was a very proud group.